everybody. Welcome back. And so fishing was great. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if nobody fly fishes, why well, I'm sure there's a lot of people that actually do. Uh, if you've never done it, you should give it a try. It is a lot of fun. And uh, so it, uh, it allowed uh, me to get a little bit of a brain break and to get kind of back into the mix of things. Uh, everybody needs a little bit of uh, a break every once in a while. And of course, that's uh, one of the ways to do mine. If uh, you're ever interested in going out fly fishing, definitely let me know. Reach out. If you have questions, uh, let me know. And uh, we have a big fly fishing community that, uh, that uh, has a lot of great information they love to share. But that's not what we're here for. We are here to talk about local and national real estate and how it can be misleading, how it can be misinterpreted, because it's very local. It's got to be a very, a very local type of information, especially if you're looking at buying or selling and making a really good business decision. As an example, the Puget Sound Business Journal, uh, one of the uh, writers there was uh as I call it, regurgitating some national information from some algorithm which said, you know, our area home values, not just what home sales are, but uh, they said home values are down 12%. And I was like, what? <laughs> Where did you get that? Uh, yeah, I guess if you took all of the West Coast or if you took, you know, uh, areas and compared like, uh, don't take this wrong, but if you're down at Pacific Beach, you would have a completely different type of set of numbers than what you would have in King, Pierce, Nahomish County, even parts of Kitsap, where we're seeing an actual appreciation, not a depreciation. So again, that information is, well, just a tad bit misleading, and it is what it is. Make sure that you're watching a show like this so that you get real and accurate information. Why? Because here's why. If you subscribe, you will be notified of when these shows come available, which is, well, basically every week. With that, we'll add additional information during the week with different vendors, certain market updates that'll happen, and to keep uh, the information flowing your way. There's no selling. The best part is it's free. And uh, it lets us know that, you, uh, that you've got, you know, really good questions because we get asked really good questions. Like this one, for those people, this is hilarious, for the ladies out there, Barbie's Arizona Dream House hits the market. Yes. Now, the super funny part about this, that there's a lot of people I know that uh, actually have Barbie dolls and whatnot as uh, we were growing up. And if you thought that you lost that opportunity, well, for heaven's sakes, here it is. You have to move to Arizona, but it's Barbie's dream house. Now, I'm not sure if it comes with Ken, so you may not be able to ditch the hubby, but it may come with that motorhome. Well, maybe not, but it definitely says there's a car in there. Anyway, if uh, you are interested in uh, <laughs> Barbie's dream house, definitely let me know. We'll send you the link. Anyway, with that, Let's, uh, let's get the show on the road here. Now, when we talk about, the, like that news article from the Puget Sound Business Journal that said, hey, you know, home values are heading, uh, are down 12%, which is a bunch of hooey for Pierce King and Snohomish County in the, in the residential area that we will use as our trends and uh, metrics every single week. When you look at this, you can see that the pendants, again, have outperformed what's coming on market. We're still pulling down on inventory. We are still seeing multiple offers. Builders are still, you know, seeing great sales. And when, uh, you know, they have a sales event or whatnot at the end of every single month, which is not uncommon, it's no different than a car dealership out there, the month-end deal, hey, uh, the, the whole intent is marketing and to bring that in. And uh, they end up, you know, taking those homes off market very quickly. We were out at one uh, project out at Pacific Ridge. It's a fabulous project out in uh, the Bothell Linwood area. Look, they had 12 sales on their red tags. Now, they had 12 sales in one day. They didn't even discount the properties necessarily because they had offers that came in and actually were very close to the list price that they'd originally had for the red tag sale, which accomplished the goal. It's called marketing, people. It is what it is. Just understand, be local. There's a lot of, there's a lot of noise out there. And make sure that you're just really 
making sure that you are watching valid information. And uh, hey, go back and take a look at our history. People, uh, people tell us it's uncanny how accurate our information is and how our predictions actually, well, are pretty accurate. So anyway, there we go. We'll leave that one alone. All right, let's take a look at this. So you might say, George, what in the heck is this? All right, well, that's our Northwest uh, MLS trend from Trend Graphics, our friends over there. And uh, the one on the right, a lot of people say, holy smokes, what the heck is that? And what that is, is that's a mortgage-backed security. And, it, and you're saying, George, that looks like something you would see on the stock market. It is. <laughs> because that's where your mortgage rates are established. Yes, the Fed's just increase rates by a quarter of a percent or what they call 25 basis points. All right. But understand, the feds do not control mortgages. <laughs> and when you're like, what? No, they don't. They control the interest rate on your car loans, your credit cards, what banks lend to each other, commercial loans. They have nothing to do with residential mortgages. They can affect mortgage uh, mortgage rates and whatnot. But as you can see, that is a stock ticker. That is one day, 8 a.m. to I think it's like 8 p.m. Uh, but you can see that ticker goes up and down, just like mortgage rates go up and down every single day, every day. Well, at least during the business week. But as you can see, when you take a look at what you're wanting to do for a mortgage, you have to, again, get that in real time and make sure that you're following that information accurately and not getting some misinformation. But look at this. Let me blow this up for you. This is super cool. All right. Now, understand year over year, okay, we're only down 20.2% on sales. We are, we are actually gaining, and that's on the right-hand column there, we're actually gaining traction. If you look at the same month year over year, so the month of July, we're almost done with July, you can tell that we're only 230 homes off of where we were at last year. That's pretty close, even though our rates, you know, they've been bobbling up more towards the sevens. Okay, well, understand, if we have very similar sales and we have super limited inventory, you can see there on the right-hand column, our inventory is still way down, okay? Look, sellers are not willing to trade in that 3.5% mortgage yet. <laughs> some anyway, some are looking at making a move and that's why we see some inventory. However, when we take a look at what is the real motivator here, look at this. Okay, and we have our boom. Look at the pended sales. Look at where we're at year over year for sales when you can see that we're only down 5.2% or basically a couple hundred homes, but yet we are like way up on the number of pended sales. No different than if we look at that center column and you can see that we are actually doing incredibly well month over month for the, you know, year over year for the same month. And then of course, year over year. Again, new construction is absolutely capitalizing on what's happening in our market. Sure, we should be around 18,000, 22,000 homes of total inventory that's available. New construction should only make up about 10% of that and they're closer to the 20% mark, and they're killing it. As you can see right here, they're absolutely killing it, and with some of the incentives. And in fact, they have you know, finished homes. Sometimes the builder lost their buyer, super motivated to be under, back under contract. Hey, leave a note below. Let us know if you want that free list. We'll fire it off to you, all right? Okay, when we take a look at foreclosures, this is hilarious. <laughs> Let me open this up. We do have the wall of shame, yes, Four more agents at the wall of shame. The wall of shame are agents that uh, have listed a home and have inadvertently checked or did not pay attention. They checked that the box was uh, that they were bank owned when they are not bank owned. But you can see year over year on the right hand side, we're only five homes off. And technically it's uh, technically four or one home off. Uh, because four of them are uh, not actually foreclosures. And even on our solds, our solds, we're doing incredibly well. We're only 18 off, but our numbers are so low. Look at that. There's only 41 homes throughout half of Washington State. What does that tell us? We don't have hardly any foreclosures. 
some people have uh, been, you know, saying for, you know, since 2020 that we're going to have this massive foreclosures. It's going to flood the market. It's going to be horrible. Still waiting. And it's not going to happen. Why? We have, well, heck, we've seen 30, 33% appreciation over the last couple of years. Anybody who has a home that is in default or in trouble, most of those folks, if not all of them, can either refinance uh, under under the uh, the refinance guidelines, which allows them a 40-year mortgage versus a 30-year mortgage, which allows them to spread it out to, so they can stay in their home, which is the goal, right? Some of them do sell, fine, but they still get to leave with money in their pocket. So we don't see a lot of foreclosures. We see some, not a lot. It's very, very few that are out there with some of the credit unions that we work with. Look, they haven't seen a foreclosure in five, six years. Uh, why? Uh, because values are there, options are there, and the goal is just to keep people in their home where it makes sense, right? All right, moving on. When we take a look at our next slide here, you can see the uh, the Fannie Mae, or I mean uh, Freddie Mac guidelines, uh, par price in 6.81. We've been seeing the interest rates bobble around. Sure, Fed's raised theirs again, 25 you know, basis points, man, 20, a quarter of a percent. Uh, yeah, it had a nominal effect, uh, didn't do a whole heck of a lot, bumped up a little bit. It'll come back down again. And, you know, towards uh, as we get into the uh, Q4 element of things, I think that we're going to see the real low sixes, high fives. I think that will happen. Uh, we may dip into the, to the high fives once again. Uh, like we did earlier this year, as predicted, I think it'll be very short term. It'll also depend a lot on some of the uh, numbers that come back from inflation and costs of living and whatnot. Uh, those numbers are going to have an impact on that. Why? Because it's publicly traded on stocks and the stock market reacts to good and bad news. Ha! Huh, go figure. All right. Now, Here's another thing. So for those of you, and we've been getting a lot of questions, hey, uh, down below, boop, boop, we're going to go ahead and put a link down there so that you can access some of these calculators. Now, we have a new one that's out there that allows you to actually take three, four different mortgages uh, and then go ahead and piggyback those, and you can see how each of them work out. Uh, a couple of tools on uh, what would my costs actually be in repayment if I added a, you know one payment uh, to principal a year in the beginning. What does that do for my payoffs? Those are free calculators. We'll put the link down below for you guys. Why? Because you guys need really good, solid information to make the best business decision for when the time is right. Why? Because you want to smash that subscribe button. Make sure that you share it with the people that you like and share it with two people you don't like. And, uh, <laughs> and just make sure that if you have questions, ask them. We love questions. We get back to you in about 30 minutes, except for on Sunday. And in the meantime, it's a beautiful day out there. And I will see you on the next video. Absolutely have a great day and take care.